We continue to honor achievements in, in medicine and health care during Black History Month. And this morning, I have the story of a woman who faced an uphill battle to become a nurse. She not only succeeded, but made it her mission to bring more minorities into the profession. This is May Hinton Weichel, the first African-American nursing school dean at Case Western Reserve University. Her trailblazing career started in the 50s as the first person of color to work at Martins Ferry Hospital. The hospital staff even threatened to strike over the employment. Undeterred, Weichel went on to break color barriers by being admitted to nursing school there. Her next stop, Case Western Reserve for her master's and her PhD in nursing. Weichel's teachers were so impressed, they asked her to join the faculty. Today, she is one of the nation's most distinguished nursing leaders and an internationally recognized expert in the field of geriatric and mental health nursing. The school's board of trustees also created the May L. Weichel Endowed Professorship to recognize her many contributions to nursing and healthcare leadership. And you can learn more about all of the people we have featured this month in our Black History section on WKYC.com.